Hey, and welcome to another fun-filled book review. I just finished reading a book called 13 of a Day, and um, I'm starting to realize that maybe that, like, um, Forever 12, this is a bunch of books compiled into one. Because at first I was like, why do they have such a long book directed at a preteen audience? But once I read the description, you'll understand what I'm talking about, and... Like I said, I'm wondering if this is a bunch of books compiled into one. I don't know for sure. Either way, here is the About Me. The Advice Avenger. Two girls on a mission to give the best advice possible no matter what. In Volume 5, Andy is crushed when her mom disappears after Thanksgiving. Even though Hillary says she'll be back in a few weeks, Andy isn't convinced. What can you do when your only options are to make a wish or say a prayer? Magical thinking is silly, right? And er, Andy certainly thinks so, but once she acknowledges her deepest desire, it sets into motion a change of events that will change everything. In Volume 6, a wicked s snowstorm is headed straight for Emerson Middle School. Everyone who didn't er, take the bus home is stranded. Can a circle of friendship heal someone who sees herself as a freak? Will secrets, be, er, secrets whispered by lantern light bring much needed solutions emerson middle school houses many secrets but one thing is for sure a blizzard is no match for the advice avengers volume seven or in volume seven corey can't believe it or it when her grandmother shows up for a visit it's been years since corey has seen her but when her grandmother dies shortly thereafter no one is prepared is corey being haunted the advice avengers have dealt with a lot of issues but can they handle this in volume 8 Andy is thrilled to have her mother Hillary back in her life but lately Hillary has been acting outrageously when the green family decides to find a new house to live Hillary's or Hillary's thoughtless actions ruin everything can Andy turn things around or will the, or her voice get drowned out join Corey and Andy on their further adventures at Emerson Middle School and beyond now, I was actually asked to read this by a an article writing company kind of thing, but um, it's actually really cute, really adorable. Um, I think the reason that I couldn't get fully into it is because I'm an adult trying to read a preteen novel, and I've outgrown all of the, the beliefs and the, the angst and the stuff that you go through at that age. Other than that, it was a really cute book. It was very educationally written, and I feel like maybe it'd be a really good book to have on the shelves at libraries, because I think that all kids could get something out of these. Um, I loved the little characters. They are cute and adorable. I didn't really care for their sarcasm, but I was. it was pointed out by my boyfriend that we all had sarcastic issues at that age, and like, oh, everybody, or all old people are stupid attitudes. So, um, that being said, I still would give this a five stars. I really did love it. Um, I fully recommended it to preteens and teenagers. And that's it, and I hope you have a wonderful day.